Hey, what's going on, everybody? Tenor here, Tenor Talk, where we speak truth and from the heart. Just want to check that we are live. Can anyone give me a uh, a five by five in the chat? I've got a very special person waiting in the wings here. Anybody, 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 let me know that we are live. Let me check on, let me check YouTube. Looks like we're live on YouTube. All right, let's check Rumble. Are you ready to rumble? Let's check Rumble, baby. Looks like we're live. All right. I'm just going to bring Ken in right now, and uh, I'll share links while Ken is introducing himself, because I don't need to hear that. Mr. Close, Ken Close, the man, the myth, the legend. How are you tonight, sir? Hey, I'm doing fabulous. Hey, thank you very much for having me uh, again um, uh, for a second round. This is a privilege. <laughs> I, I love having you. It's actually the third time we spoke briefly just about my dad. And then the first, very first time was a while ago was with um, Sophia in the Adirondacks, our, our very first interaction. Um, so it's three times. Third time's a charm, Ken. I know we just got a couple of notes tonight. Uh, I like to introduce you as the man who risked his life. No one we, we know now in the world, when you bring health in the past, when you bring health, when you bring things that go against the cabal, against, against Satan, against devil, um, you find yourself suicided and missing and all kinds of things. And you honestly, really, it's not funny at all. I appreciate, I appreciate warriors like you because you, you basically smuggled the Healy into the United States from Germany. How long ago? Well, it's been over three years now, over three years. So you brought a helium that literally can get you could have gotten you killed. Like, I mean, three years ago, we were still in an era where we were fighting really good and doing a lot of battling and defeating the devil, but you, you risk your life. So I'm going to share some links. I know all about you. I love you. You're the man. Thank you so much for coming back on. Tonight's going to be amazing. Everyone should be glued to this because just in the notes in the five minutes that we jumped on early and the spirit was working, right? Ken, we should have just had the show in the, in the five minutes before, cause, but we'll be able to do it because that's what the spirit wants us to talk about. It's, it's really exciting. Um, but tell people about about you briefly, and I'm going to share the links for everyone to make sure that they're here. I'm going to put you full screen so people can absorb you fully, and I will be right back. Take the stage, sir. <laughs> well, thank you. I think I don't know about risking my life, but I do understand, and, and I know um, that when we go against the the, the norm, against convention, um, we get we get attention, right? We get a lot of people paying attention. Uh, and sometimes that attention, especially if we're solving things permanently, you know what I mean? Uh, when we, when we're healing, as opposed to just putting on band-aids or masking, sometimes that gets a lot of attention. And so, um, so yeah, talking about some technology that we're going to go into later that, uh, that really is working on, a, a wider range of healing as opposed to just masking. Uh, but thanks again for having me here. My name is Ken Close. Uh, my background is in engineering, uh, technical engineering, as a matter of fact. I've spent the last decade um, diving deep into um, the metaphysical and, and a lot into neuroscience and epigenetics because it's a lot of what we can't see is what we should be paying attention to. Uh, and I love Nikola Tesla said, over a hundred years ago, he said that the day that science begins to study the non-physical phenomenon, it will make more progress in one decade than it has in the previous centuries of its existence. And the reason I'm saying that is because the non-physical is not what contemporary uh, modalities are typically working with. And so that's where I've been for the last 10 years working on a lot uh, with some amazing thought leaders in our country. Um, you guys have probably heard of of Dr. Bruce Lip Lipton, uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza, uh, uh, Greg Braden, some great forward thinkers, some people who are really digging deep into some ancient um, technologies that are not so so ancient. I mean, they're just they're just um, ways of being, uh, of healing, and of really taking control and giving our power back to us as an individual. Um, about almost actually, I, I said uh, it was three years ago. Is actually almost four years ago now. Um, I did pair up with a German company 
to uh, to introduce a technology into the United States that really dove deep into what I believe in, uh, in the quantum field, into the quantum entanglement and the non-physical, the, the literal non-physical of how we change the biological outcome of these bodies and, and not by some, some drug or, or some um, procedure such as a surgical procedure or, uh, or some medical process. This is by energy. Folks, energy is everywhere and everything is energy. And this is, again, one of my studies is to understand that by shifting our energy, we shift us, right? No matter what it is. And, and, and Tenor and I were just talking in the green room there about some of the conditions that, that he was presenting, right? In, in terms of uh, what we talked about a couple of weeks ago about how we stay on track and, and then you experience, right? How you got off track so quickly and so easily and so autonomically, yeah? Yeah, and I, and I said to you, right, that the spirit is just like, it's just the notes about, it was, it's four things that we, we, when we spoke, we're like, wow, that's great. We'll talk about those next week. And that was the show. But in the, in the green room, the, for the five minutes that you came in, I, and, and you'll touch on this right now, I guess it's the perfect segue, right? We were, I said, I got to find a clip. I'm going to use a clip from, from the previous show of Ken talking about something. And I, we, we were on like 40 minutes, our first show. And I, I picked like, I went in like five, six, seven minutes in and was right at the mark where you were talking about the 800,000 cells per second. Right. Mm-hmm. So I like, wow, that's amazing. So I got to get about a minute clip of that. So I could just say, we'll see you tonight. Yada, yada, put Ken in there. But when I woke up today, I was angry. I got angry. You know, it's truth and from the heart here. It's not all peaches and cream with pops. And, you know, everyone knows I'm taking care of my, I busted my father out of the nursing home and I'm saving his life, right? I, I took him out at the end of June. And uh, it literally, it's a full-time job, but I think I think the creator wanted that to happen so I can have that story. So it's not just like, hey, did you hear about this? It's like, here I am, this truther on this journey, and I'm taking on the medical industry. I'm fighting the doctors. I'm, I'm going against everything they say. I broke my father out of the home non-traditionally, not on their terms, letting letting them let me know when he can come home. I signed him out for lunch on a Friday, like a normal thing, and he never went back. I had the police <laughs> here. I mean, the whole thing, right? So, th- so I'm experiencing this so I can tell this firsthand out of the horse's mouth how I'm saving my father with frequency. And I have to show right here, Ken, um, I got... You know, I got the blue dot running. I'm running mm. Schussler salts on, on my pops, you know, and nice. people can't get it. Like he's getting he's getting calcium carbonate, you know, from from, from the gods, you know, <laughs> <laughs> right. And it's like, what are you talking about, Tenor? That's Star Trek shit. That's right. That's what's going on. <laughs> this is what saved his life. And I'm running sports on myself because I did a lot of work outside, Ken, and I was a little, little worn. Going to be 55 next month, you know. I'm almost, mm. I'm almost going to be on the cover of Men's Fitness like you. Right but on. You can see I'm a little revved up, coffee a few hours ago. But we were talking about the 800,000 cells. I woke up angry with him because I want him to be working harder. Because I know that he's mm-hmm. just about cured. He's off of all of his medicines, Ken. I'm incorporating some Lasix because we're like every other day or every two days, because we're still working on that water retention. But I got him off of his, you saw the list, laundry list for diabetes, for his heart medication, opioids for pain medications, blood pressure. He's off everything, Ken, everything. And this is what I'm experiencing. So I was angry today with him because I'm like, dad, you can, you can do that, you know, do it. Like he asked me to do something. I'm like, you can do it, do it. And I, we had a little thing. So then I'm laying there and then I get up and I I'm doing the promo for the show. And I'm listening to you talk about stuff in that 800,000 cells and how I'm setting up my day, my future by what's running through my mind. And if um, you use the thing, if you're angry in traffic, you know, and you're going through all of that, that's what I'm programming those almost, you know, billion cells that are going through me, I'm programming anger into my world, right? 100%. So why don't, so take on that. Cause I can go forever. Yeah. Take on that. hundred percent. And this is the, this is the, the, the actual epigenetic phenomenon that's going on 
there is a divine intelligence folks that is operating permeating and creating these bodies all the time every second and these bodies to the tune as he said of 800,000 cells per second were being recreated now you're not doing that right i mean who's doing that and 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 if you think you are i challenge you to say stop doing that <laughs> right. Just like, just like, okay, stop digesting your food. I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to stop some of these vital functions. Right. And that's not going to happen because there is a divine intelligence that is operating these systems on purpose because the, the truth be known is, is that uh, for the most part, we're not trusted as a mind to be able to do it very well. <laughs> so there is a divine intelligence that does the fundamentals for us. And all we have to do is get on board with a positive input to to actually sway some of that genetic output to a body's form. Now, understand that that's of those 800,000 cells per second, now some of them are bone and some of them are muscle, some of them are brain, some of them are skin. All these cell structures in our bodies turn over at different rates, some every day, some every, every three months, some uh, every several years. The point is still the grouping of 800,000 per second is still happening. And 3% of the genetic code that is going to determine whether that's a bone cell, a skin cell, um, or a muscle cell is fixed. 3%. Now, you might ask, well, what's, okay, what's the other 97%? What, what's, that, what's that for? Well, that's an adaptive part of the gene that allows the environment to dictate its outcome. So think about this for a second. 3% is fixed. It's going to be a bone, a muscle, a skin, whatever, um, of your of your tendency, whatever you are, your gender, uh, your ethnic background, right, uh, your age group, all the things that are you in this present moment. 3% of those 800,000 is being determined by your ancestral input, right? 97% is adaptive. It's a code reading the environment. And what it's reading very specifically is the energy, a frequency of information. And Understand that the external environment, hear me now, the external environment of the cell is the internal environment of the body. So everything that you think, everything that you feel, everything that you process within this mind of yours is energetic frequency being infused into your body, being read by what? 97% of the adaptive gene that I told you about, helping those 800,000 cells express the version of you in that present moment. So look at the power you have. Now, on that, right? Because I always would tell everyone um, with the Healy, right? You would think someone, you know, oh, tenors, snake, oil salesman. If I'm, if all I cared about was just like people, you know, getting a Healy, why would I tell them that it's my belief that in the future, I think it might be a little while because we as humans we have a lot to learn and we don't seem to be learning things too quickly uh, i see the tide turning i see a lot of a lot of winds but i always tell people and i always try to make sure if i haven't i forgot i always say and it came from you too and it and it definitely makes sense when you know what's going on the healy is just a bridge between us and that power and everything that you just spoke about for us to change who we are and to tap into our power and to manifest what we want, we do that. But this thing right now, until we fully learn how to grasp that and do that and help others do that and, and actually do it for others, because we have oh, yeah. that power, There's this is the Bentley of everything. I, I don't, just because, not because I'm in Healy, I was involved in patches and, watches and and blow dryers with lights coming out of them they all have a level of but nothing on the planet and i have to say it nothing can do what this thing does and this thing helps yeah. you tap into all that power it's that simple i don't i know people that i'm on other networks where they're going to get upset with me because they like swear by other things and i'm not saying they don't work but no. nothing nothing on planet earth and it's a fact will do what this device does this goes into ancestral stuff this is what helped me forgive my dad, right? Which we'll get into in a little bit, Ken, but go ahead. Yeah, so this is, again, that remember that 97% of the adaptive gene, we can do a lot of things. We can do things ourselves, right? By by thought alone, uh, by by 
thought management, by mind management, which, you know, you guys understand how fun it is to try to manage your mind. Uh, but you can do this, but it takes diligence. It takes a lot of commitment. It takes a lot of extra work. Um, and I'm not saying that this is like a, a, a you know, the blue pill or the red, it's, it, but it, right. sure, it sure is uh, um, another way, uh, maybe an easier way to influence the energy being or the frequencies that are uh, becoming that 97% of that adaptive gene. So think about this for a moment, because if we are in our minds all the time, and we're going to talk about how we're how to get out of that. Uh, but as Tanner said, that some of the struggles is it gets away with you without you even knowing it. And all of a sudden, uh, you may, you know, hour down the road, realize that you're still thinking about that same thing, right? That was troubling you and it's still creating the same emotional baggage. So what do you do, right? I, I have to, we have to go right into that, Ken, yeah. because even after this is how program we are. This is, this is how crafty the devil has been forever and ever and ever. It keeps us occupied, keeps us in fear, keeps us angry, keeps us in that space. And this happened today, Ken, because I believe we had to talk about it. We're getting so close. You, you mentioned these, these gentlemen, um, Greg Braden, uh, Bruce Lipton, and Joe Dispenza. And I listened a little bit here and there. There's so much going on on the planet that you can't just dive in fully to all of these things. But I listened to some of those videos and I believe that listening to the one of the Greg 10, 12 minute videos connecting the, the brain and the heart mm -hmm. and getting into that space where you're not angry and you're just you're just full of love and you're thinking about love, compassion, all of these beautiful things. And then you're bringing in the things that you want. You see them as if they're already done and, and all the stuff that we have to learn that goes with all of this. I still couldn't do it after I did the promo and I'm like, holy crap, I was the angry guy in traffic while I was laying in bed What Ken was talking about it. And I was still dwelling on it a little bit. That's how programmed we are, Ken. Yeah. We yeah. must, must, must do everything we can and be guided to the places and the tools that we need to get out of that shithole in our, in our own head because we won't change anything. And I, I know that, I know that, what we will change is what we find value in changing. So in other words, if we find value in a change, some other way of being, if we find value in it, we'll probably pursue it. We'll probably move into it, change into it. If we find value in it. And, and I'm going to tell you where, where we can find value um, in a, a new way of being is information. So the better that we, we promote or give information around the simplicity of, of change. So in other words, how easy it is to build 800,000 cells per second, right? Uh, how, to, how to influence that 800,000 cells per second, how easy it is and how um, automatically that we do it, whether we're aware of it or not. So building this awareness, um, you know, uh, in terms of going to the gym, folks, if you're going to go to the gym, what I would work out is your awareness muscle, because that's going to be probably your best asset uh, when it comes to getting past and beyond those uh, automatic thoughts in those programs, because uh, as we know, uh, a thought is something that we get, we have lots of them every day. And, and neuroscience says 60 to 70,000 thoughts per day going on inside here. And 90% of those at least are redundant thoughts from yesterday. We rarely have a new thought, right? Normally it's a rehearsal from yesterday's content. And if we're in this present moment, thinking about the past, or if we're in this present moment, worrying about the future, we're not creating. We're not creating. We're just duplicating the past or stewing over the future that hasn't even come here yet. And in this present moment, we're building a body to be prepared for that outcome. Right? We're just, we're just dwelling. We're just, when we're caught up also, I believe a lot of the stuff that's ha happening in the world, there's like craziness going on. And in my other videos, I talk about red pilling and, you know, military operation that's going on globally. But a lot of the stuff we have to try to separate a little bit from, and we have to worry about our own lives because a lot of people are waiting to get saved, Ken, and we have all the power to do that. And, you know, the, the creator sent me home and said, come take care of your father. 
And mm -hmm. so no one did that, like military or, you know, some angel or what. I mean, maybe they guided me, but I didn't I didn't physically see them. They didn't go into the home with me and argue with the doctors and the medical industry. I, I had to take action and I had to do it. Speaking of that, I think he might have to go to the bathroom. Everyone always wants to see Pops when we're talking about healing. What's up? Hey. Say, hello to, hey, say hello to Ken. How you doing? So and good to see you. Right there. He's the man that smuggled this device into the United States uh, and risked, risked his life to save your life. So my you. father's actually, lock up those wheels. Last time people saw my dad in the home, he like got up and I almost had to help him, you know, uh, up. And he was like out of breath and everything. I just want to show you the progress. We started physical therapy. Show everyone, lock those wheels and just, just get up without some, uh, get up like Speedy Gonzalez. Not too fast. What's going wow. on? Good. Look at that. Perfectly awesome. up. He's walking with the walker like a speed demon, getting in and out of the shower. Love you, Pops. Getting in and out of the shower by himself. I mean, it, the progress is amazing. So we got physical Man. therapy two days a week. And I told you, you'll get right back into it, but I told you, Ken, Pops doesn't really know, right? He's 88. It's, you know, it's hit and miss. We'll talk about things. He doesn't really get this he knows that i'm putting a piece of plastic in his pocket you mm -hmm. know since february and he knows he's off of every single medication he knows he's out of the nursing home that he's been in for two years a rehabilitation center they were called ken two years he was slowly slowly mm -hmm. dying and i don't blame the people are just trained in the medical system so i'm not attacking anyone personally but he was being slowly murdered in the home i bring him out I'm not a doctor, I only played one on TV, but I am a social media doctor, <laughs> Dr. Tanner, SMD. We have fun with that. I should have worn my stethoscope. Anyway, Ken, <laughs> here he is proof. I have my 88 year old father. We started in February when I came home. I'm treating him with frequency. He's being treated right now through the airwaves because I'm wearing the other Healy. I'm being a little spoiled. I'm treating myself for a change. And there he is. There he is. There's the facts. He's off his laundry list of medications. He's walking, he has breath, he has energy, he's not struggling. There he is. And he really doesn't even know kind of what's going on, Ken. And we were talking in the Green Rise because I think my energy, right? Yeah. And, and so, yeah, yeah, there's all of that. And then we have, we, well, like I mentioned, everything is energy, right? Everything. So, what, what this, what the external environment of the cell is experiencing is this internal environment of you, this body. And then what this mind and the senses are experiencing is the external world that we're in and everything you see around you. So you, you constantly take in content from your world with your senses, your, what you see, smell, taste, and feel. All that information goes in and gets processed by what? The filter, the mind. All right. And this mind makes sense of things or attempts to. Whether it doesn't understand a damn thing or not, it still has to assign meaning to everything because that's a life or death situation. This is the part of the, the old prehistoric limbic brain that says, I have to make sense of it because if I don't, it may kill me, right? It may hurt me. I have to know exactly what's going on. So it'll make shit up to my, pardon my mouth, but it will make stuff up oh, we, we're to, good make sure, to make sure that you're safe. So in other words, when it's trying to assign meaning to something, it will try to assign the worst case scenario meaning to something to keep you safe before it gives you the best case scenario. So as, as a person, as, as you trying to help your surroundings, your father, you're building this model inside. And you've been doing a lot of practice around staying in that feeling of love, in that um, uh, transmission of that frequency of, of compassion, um, taking care of your dad and getting beyond the, the I have to pause you there, Ken. I, I've been struggling a little bit because I, it's a I'm lot. I'm sure. It, it, there's, there's some rough days and it's, and it, it's almost like a reversal. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm the dad and it's like, you know, yep. Yep. come on, get up, you know, walk, walk the hall, do, yep. do your exercise. You know, it's, it's a lot, you know, and, and I, and I've, I've, I've faded away from that and it, it reached the boiling point this morning. I was the angry person in traffic today that you yep. spoke about in the video. And I said, and I've been, and I, I, I had to work today. I, I, I said, you're good. I got set up and I took a ride down by the water and I sat by the water and I, I started to calm myself. I said, you got to go back to the guy you were when you were manifesting, 
when he was in the home, when you were manifesting him walking and getting out of the wheelchair. And I, I, you, do you know that story? Like as I was manifesting like months ago, he called me while I was in that heavy, deep, like mm. Lipton dispenser Braden space that yeah. I seem to have faded away from. As I was doing that, he was getting physical therapy at the home that he hadn't had for a while. I did that twice. I manifested all of this. Yep. I know yep. that I did, but I got away from that. I became the angry guy in traffic. And we're going to use that, Ken, when, when we talk to the PG. Don't be the angry guy. Don't be traffic. that guy. Floaty <laughs> butterfly magic carpet ride guy. That's Woo! right. That's right. Don't, Don't be that angry guy. And so because that's an energy field. It is. And here's the, here's the thing, folks, that we there is a, a, a endless supply of energy fields out there. Right. Consciousness encompasses everything. And so if the consciousness of the collective is on anger, right, it's felt by all. And if even your pets, I just got to do the segue. Oh, we're oh, closing totally. with your we're closing with pets today, everyone. There's an amazing yep. thing going on in Healy for you to love and cure and help your yep. pets. If you don't care about yourself or your friends and your family, you probably love your pets. So we're closing with an amazing story with Ken, how we how we saved Charlie. And, and in a, this amazing deal. So go ahead, Ken. I just want if to, you don't go anywhere, everybody. We're closing. Stick with... around. Stick around, you guys. I want you to meet Charlie. Well, now I'll tell you all about her. Anyway, the the the, the understand that every time you have um, a thought, this thought is electrical pulses in the brain that creates a magnetic wave. Right? Guess what? That's going out into the world. So all your thoughts are actually being then they're being transmitted. Then if you take that thought and you create a word out of it and you start speaking a sentence based on that. Now you've put words in the world. That's another frequency of information, right? The, the audio range of frequency, the words that we say, and what are, are, those about, are you talking about spelling? I'm talking about, we cast these words of spells and, and that's why a word is spelled out, right? Because we are casting words outwardly and those words are interpreted. Now, some people may be speaking one language language and another one can't understand the language but i promise you you can you can feel the emotion being carried behind the language it's, it's your emotion it's, it's exactly all your right. emotion because you're not talking when you're thinking those beautiful things and you're manifesting and you're you're cleared out of there oh, yeah. you're not talking in english or german or anything you're you're you're, you're in frequency your heart have connected and you ha and you have just this this it's your own it's it's a, it's its own new language it's it's the heart yep. mind language whatever you, whatever you want to call it and that's how this works and that's how this stuff gets done folks and we have to we really have to start to pay more attention to this last year well now two years ago i would laugh at a show like this i would turn <laughs> this off i'd be like what the f are these people talking about right where's my beer right mm -hmm. and and this is so real, and this is the main thing that's going to change the world once we all get on this same page and start speaking that same language. We all speak the same language. That's all energy. It's all an energy signal. So as you mentioned, you know, if, you, if I'm speaking in an angry tone, they don't need to know my words, but they can sure feel the emotion. And right. everybody... Everybody sends a message out from your body. How, have you ever approached another human? I know you guys have, and you feel resistant or you feel accommodating. You feel something by the presence of another entity, right? Or you've moved into a, a, a space, a room where it feels odd. This is you reading the environment, right? And, and when it's a person, another person, you can feel instantly. Uh, a lot of content that's coming off of them because that's all frequency. It's all energy coming off them. And we have within these, within our bodies, this intelligent body, a system called the reticular activating system. This reticular activating system processes 400 billion bits of information per second, right? This is part of our nervous system. It processes 400 billion bits of information per second. Now stay with me for a second because I want you to understand everything you're taking in right now what you see, taste, feel, and touch, every bit of that content. I would like you to just take a notebook and write it all down. I want the texture, the depth, the colors. I want all of the, the tones. Write it all down. I promise you if you wrote, wrote it all down for this one second, take a snapshot, it would be a volume of information, right? Now, 
all of that information, everything you're taking in right now per second is only 2000 bits. Now, 400 billion from the, the reticular activating systems taking in 400 billion. You as an awareness is only reading or aware of 2000 bits. So there's a lot going on in the background that your, your awareness is not conscious of. This is what you feel when you walk up to somebody. This is your little tingly senses, right? That's going off. That's what's going on. Um, that, but it's used within your body, uh, within that primitive brain to say, am I safe or am I not safe? That reticular activating system is feeding information into that ancient brain, that prehistoric brain, and the brain is determining safe or not safe based on how you feel. So same kind of thing that you were talking about a second, Tanner, is that when you're around your father and you're becoming healthier yourself and you're in proximity. Now, remember this field that you emit easily. Now I'm saying easily monitors. It, it, it resonates off of you uh, to three meters or nine feet in a, in an orbit, in a circle, put yourself in a nine foot sphere. You know how big that is? That's yeah. like a Volkswagen bug, right? It's like the size of a Volkswagen bug. It's like a, a bubble that size. Jump in the car with me. Yeah. And so that's <laughs> when you, when you move around and you're in people's fields, you know how people have said, you're in my space, you're in my field or whatever. That's very, very true. And so when you're in proximity with another human, the things that you do, the things that you feel, the things that you think are also propagating and amplifying them. So if we're angry, if we're feeling defeated, if we're feeling unloved and we're in a family with our partner, with our children, with our pets, what do you think we're doing to that environment? You know, you've got to take responsibility. Nobody's like, like you said, nobody's coming in to save you. We have to take responsibility for this information and make it part of our daily regimen to, to take this information and, and rehearse it. Remember, 800,000 cells per second is building your body and your thoughts have something to do with that. It's, it's, it's amazing, Ken. It came up with the good stuff. So I, I always wanna, I'm going to use the uh, don't be the angry old man or woman. <laughs> Cheer up. Smile. You're you're making your your the angry old man is is flying through the air and there's a and there's an angry chemtrail coming out and it's floating oh, through your house and poisoning the environment. What's yep. going on? Um, so think about that. When I say amplify, when I say amplify, if you have a house full of people that do have joy in their heart, abundance in their thoughts, and love all around them, you have a group of people. One can influence a thousand. Now, uh, Greg Braden does an amazing um, presentation on how uh, humans influence others. Dr. Joe Dispenza has, has published content around groups of monks that have come into an environment to do their meditations and crime rate has gone down, right? Accidents have, have diminished. Um, things that have changed within the, within the demographic of that city just because uh, there was an intention work done by some very skilled individuals. They stopped the, the war. One of the uh, it's crazy. So Ken, before I forget, because I didn't write it down, what we're talking about a, a lot of amazing stuff. But where, how does the Healy fit in right now for people with everything that we're talking about? And and we touched on it a little bit. Um, it, right. What I wanted to do is I, I'm a I'm an engineer, so I try to uh, present principles because if I if you understand the principles of things, like I said, eight hundred thousand cells per second. Now you can you can decide how to use them in your life within your own orchestration. So if you understand that everything is energy and the only thing that separates one form of energy, say a skin cell from um, a molecule of wood, right? The only thing that separates that is its frequency or its vibrational state, right? So if we were to want to increase the uh, vibrational state of something and we matched its frequency with a coherent signal, meaning it's an amplifier, then we can start improving the stability or the health of that particular molecule. It doesn't matter if it's wood or if it's skin, okay? So the way that Healy works is Healy essentially is a quantum bridge. It's a bridge between this, um, I want you guys to understand that there, within the quantum field, um, there is a signature or I should say a blueprint for everything, everything. Because again, everything's energy. So if we just were to, if we were able to just see frequencies with this visual acuity we have, you would not see differentiation between say Tenor and I 
or you in the tree. You wouldn't necessarily see the color structures. You wouldn't necessarily see so much of the contrast as you would see a frequency. You would see a vibrational shift. So in other words, something uh, vibrating very slowly versus something vibrating very quickly. And if we were able to change the vibrational state of something, we could strengthen it or deplete it. So what Healy is doing is it's it's taking us um, it's got a method of monitoring you, taking a look at you, your resonant field, and finding what's out of whack, what's in dissonance, and then aligning frequencies for that dissonance, right? For that lack, to amplify them, to bring them back into harmony, to bring them back into balance, whether it's cells or systems or certain molecular structures within you, um, or emotions. It even works on the emotional baggage because emotions is the way the body um, gives its part of the experience, right? Our senses take in all the content, right? So we're, we're walking um, on a beach at, at sunrise and our eyes are taking in the, the view. Um, our skin is taking in the, the temperatures and the radiance um, our nose, our olfactory nerve is taking in the scent, right? Our feet are touching things. So we're taking in all the sensory concepts uh, and information to build the experience. But the next thing that happens is that sends signatures or, or, or peptides essentially uh, down to the body. So the body can now create chemical expressions to feed the mind its emotion. So you have uh, this, this grateful uh, moment of walking on the beach now, maybe, maybe somebody's with you that's had a really bad day and they're back there in that angry car scenario. They're still on the same beach with you, right? You're having, you're in bliss. They're in turmoil, right? But here's the difference. The difference is this mind. Your senses are taking in the same content, right? Their eyes, my eyes, their sense of smell, so on. They may be acuity differences, but still real similar in the information going into the body. These are frequencies going into the body and the mind. And then the body has your, the way you assign meaning to all that is how the body then starts to produce the chemistry of the emotion and emotion is to the body as thought is to the brain. These two come together, and enrich the experience of that sunrise. So, wow. Right. I mean, think about how much power you have when you have now um, a way of mitigating, say some of the negative experience that you're having, um, that's blocking you from having a great time at that sunrise because you've got a Healy sending coherent signals into the body, into the mind, and kind of retuning things. Isn't, yeah. that, isn't that great? I mean, that's what it's exactly. And, and they work. And when I and I, I get lazy sometimes. I mean, I'm working on him a lot, and I'll even during those rough times. I mean, I have this Healy, and I could have been running some of the mental you know, system programs, you know, to help me to, to, to pep me up to coherence. And, and I didn't, I've been, I've been slacking. I've got this, I've got this brilliant tool that does, I mean, I can't speak to every system that's out there, but I don't know many that do like, Ken, this analyzes you. It, it doesn't just like strap this on if you have pain or put this patch over here, if you have pain in your neck and the, in the patches, but what happened? Why do I have pain? This tells me why I have pain. This tells me yeah. where it's coming from. This tells me what to treat. This tells me what my mental issues are. This tells me what my mental baggage is that was handed down to me from my grandfather, my great grandfather, my great great, that I would have no idea of knowing. This helped me to forgive my father. And I say this because he was a PRIC. <laughs> Exclamation <laughs> point. It's truth and from the heart. And my mother's deathbed wish, last words, coherent words before I said, give her more morphine. She was in so much pain, started mumbling. Last words were, make sure you take care of your father. And I used to joke mm. with my sister. And I used to say, mommy cursed us. Mm. I used to joke. So we were there, you know, when you had to be, when he fell his last fall over two years ago, which wound him in the home. We, but it wasn't, I didn't love my father. I, I So this device when I treated through the, the aura reading and I sent Bach flowers and I, I sent a frequency through my, my, or my aura reading and my manifestation of the things that I wanted to do, this device helped me patch my relationship and get rid of my ancestral baggage that I could basically sacrifice and take a big chunk out of my life. This is not mm. much life, 
when you're a full-time caretaker taking care of well, your dad right let, now. Let me, let me tell you something. Um, so everybody, you are doing the work, right? So in other words, Healy is giving the frequencies, like I said earlier, to align misalignments, right? Right. And, and help you. It, it's like it's like having an amplifier. It's a happy having an amplifier, like someone to take a bit of the load off. But you still have to do the work, right? We Again, so this device is the bridge to yes. the place where that's allowing me to go get all of that yes. shit. And throw it out or pull it in. What I need this. This is the bridge. This and it does it so, oh, like it's nothing different. else. I mean, it, it's it, it's just it's it, crazy. It's, what it's this taking does. many. It's taking many, many, many different sciences and bringing them together. And to be honest with you, I love technology. That's my my background is engineering, and I love technology. And don't let it fool you out there. There's some bad, and then there's a lot of good, um, because the technology has has helped us to bridge the next gap. And that's exactly what we're doing. And if you, if I want to give you a one sentence or one liner for Healy's definition, it is the bridge between the quantum field of information and the biological and physical fields of matter. It's the bridge. And all it's doing is it's showing you what the dissonance is, what the interrupt is. And here is a frequency to help you align it. And, and if you get out of the way, and when I say get out of the way, that means stop being the angry guy in traffic. Right? <laughs> if you get out of the way and allow the mind to relax and allow the, the, just that, that universal law of allowance, allow these things to take hold for a moment, then that, the amplification. Now, remember, I want you to know that healing actually takes less energy than stress. So in other words, it takes a lot more uh, it's a lot more tasking on the body to be in the stress response than it is to be in the healing response. Right. Because I have to go get all of that. I have to work myself up. I have to become angry. I, I have to look yeah. for more shit. Right. Oh, I'm pissed off. What else can I get pissed off about? Let me look for something else. You know, let me. Oh, gotta, and you will, too. Instead of just saying, I got to stop. I'm going outside with a drink out in the sun or, or in the woods or in the grass. I'm going to ground. And I'm turning everything off and I'm going to relax and I'm going to, I'm going to dictate what's going on. I'm going to change my day. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to change the day in the life of those around me. I'm let's, gonna, I'm gonna let's unpack that positive for, energy. Let's unpack that for a minute. The I am, the I am, that I am statement, because how many times do people, they say I am and the, and it's the I am they're referring to is what they see in the mirror, right? This, this reflection of I am. And then we have another part, so AKA the body, right? And ask yourself this question, am I my body? Is that who I am? Um, am I, it's a multiple choice. Am I my thoughts? Is that who I am? Um, am I the observer of all that? Is that who I am? And I, I love, there's, a, there's an amazing book uh, by Michael Singer um, called Untethered Soul. And if you wanna understand a lot about the mind, um, and that's an amazing book, Untethered Soul by Michael Singer, because it really gives the purpose of the mind. And too often we think that our thoughts are, are our self, right? This internal dialogue is us. And to be honest with you, if you went outside of that, and that's why I say go to the gym and work out your awareness muscle, because if you're able to step beyond that one more step, beyond the thoughts that are going in your brain, and you step outside of that, and you be the observer of those thoughts inside of your mind. Now you've gone to the awareness side. Now you've become removed from the body, removed from the body uh, and the mind, and then also become the observer. The observer effect, Einstein talked about it perfectly because the observer effect is actually what solidifies the, the particle, the energy into matter. So, as you become that observer, you have a much better um, orchestration or control over this material body because it starts to manifest to the tune of 800,000 cells per second based on the observer, not the chaotic mind. Think about this for a moment. How much power is that when you have the ability to get beyond the chaotic mind? And we're going to talk about this mind because there are three very specific ways in which we can get outside of a chaotic mind behavior. And it's, it, it is a programmed response only because we have allowed it to be an efficient 
neural bundle in our brain. Every time we have a redundant thought, that thought gets stronger, builds more synaptic connections around the content or the, the super highway of that belief uh, or that thought, and it becomes a belief. You do it long enough, it becomes a personality trait. And suddenly we have these personalities that may not be serving us properly, right? So um, one thing I want to point out in all the technologies that are out there, and I love technologies. I, I, I've been to the, I love to uh, go to the biohacking conferences. I've been a speaker at some of those events before. And those biohacking conferences bring all kinds of technology to one arena where you can sample them and check them out and look at them all. There's one thing they all have in common. Now, I don't know, everything from infrared to massage systems to um, electrostimulations, things like that, um, whether it be light, sound, or um, vibrational frequency stuff. One thing they all have in common is that none of them really ask permission of the body. They don't ask permission of the body. Healy is one of the only technologies that I know of that literally asks permission of the body prior to any transmission, prior to any giving. Because it looks to find out who you are. It finds the resonance of you. And then based on that resonance, here's the cool thing. It starts to build a model of alignment and amplification only based on that. And then it starts to apply. And as it's applying, it asks you how you're doing. And the body gives feedback to say, I'm doing this much. And it gives you a report. It gives you a report. As you become 100% resonant with a frequency, it kicks it out of the routine. It doesn't give you that anymore. Right. Healy, Healy doesn't give you what you don't need, right? So that's the cool thing. It's, and I love this quote. There's a quote by um, uh, by Bruce Lee. Uh, my, my background's in martial arts. I'm an instructor for decades. And um, his he says that the usefulness of the cup is its emptiness. So when you're full, you're full. You can't take any more, right? But yet these technologies out there, you set a timer and let's say you're done at the end of five minutes, but the timer's set for 30. It's going to keep giving it and giving it and giving it. I'm telling you. I, I mean, I, I used to early on, I would think there was a problem, but my body, it would treat, you know, it was sending frequency and the program would, would stop early and we, you know, it just, it would cut out of it and everything. And that's my body has had enough. It's not going to over. I mean, not that you could be harmed by getting an extra 15 minutes of like frequency, right? But it it just doesn't, it, it doesn't oversaturate it. It's that intelligent. It, it really is. And I mean, of course, anyone that's working with something is going to try to, you know, do some bullshit and make it sound like it's the best thing. That's the best thing here, Ken. You really don't. And when you really learn and you see what's going on, you know that this is the, I don't know, what's, what's the most like expensive piece of machinery you know i'll even go past the bentley like this is like the space shuttle <laughs> that didn't blow up the one that went and came back without right. any problems so yeah. like that's what that's what this is the rest i mean i'm sorry people are going to get mad at me but i have to just tell the truth and i always want to do the best thing for people so the best thing for people is the healy it's really that yeah. simple yeah it's i agree really that simple end of story and i'll and i'll go to for tat and we can we can actually go at it with anybody bring a patch, bring something, bring a blow dryer with a light in it, and I'll annihilate it with this piece of technology right here. Well, those are, those are fixed, right? Those are, those are typically fixed. Yeah. They're not, they're not dynamic systems. I, I'm not saying that, that this stuff is not useful. I mean, even exactly. I didn't say like, that. I said, even like a patch on and you can get rid of yep. some pain, but yep. tell me, I want to know why am I getting the pain? I don't want it anymore. Yep. I want to treat it and I want it to be gone. That's why I have a healing. Exactly. Because that's, that's the key. The key is, is, is most of systems are treating a symptom, right? Uh, right. And not so much the root or the cause. This and so tells we want you to... the root cause of exactly. why you have the headache. It might be something in your lower back. It might be a pinch. Nerve. You don't know. Everyone's different. And this tells you what it is. You know, a perfect technology out there that um, is a great example of uh, a technology that people use. It's got some benefit. Uh, but where uh, if you're if you don't get out of it when the body is done, you know, you're going to get some damage. And that's a suntan booth. Right. I mean, how many people set the timer, go in there, maybe fall asleep or whatever, and have been, you know, burnt or damaged because they're in there too long. It, that system is not asking permission of your body at all. Right. right? And so this is a, some of the technology that that, you know, has some some purpose a little bit. But I don't. Again, I don't, uh, the, the, the patch stuff, everything has its purpose. Everything has uh, its benefit. 
Um, even the TENS unit, you know, folks are familiar with the TENS unit. Um, if you look at the molecular influence um, on the body at the cell level, I want you to go to the cell level for a minute. Because when we look at benefits, we look a lot of times at the at the whole organism. And so, yep, it's getting some benefit. Uh, and when we put a TENS unit on, let's say we have a, a, a stressed muscle or something we're trying to use a TENS unit for to, um, to oscillate that structure. And it's giving an electrical current, it's giving current into the body and convulsing that structure. And there's benefit there by convulsing that structure, those tissues, so that it gets fluids in and waste out and that kind of thing, relaxation stuff. But if you look at the cells, they're agitated, they're angry because they're involuntarily convulsing. And that's not what they want to do right then. Right then they're trying to save you. They're trying to help you by, you know, whatever the pain or the tension or what's going on. Yeah. The body can overcompensate. Don't get me wrong because inflammation and, and tension and, um, and cramping and that kind of thing. Those are all still symptoms. We're not listening to the body very well to try to read the symptoms to find out what treatment is going to help the symptom. Um, we're just trying to give it some stuff to relief, relieve that symptom, drugs or a TENS unit or whatever it is. So, so when we look at the body's level of at the cell level, Healy is actually going in there and speaking at the cell level, asking what does the cell structure or I should say the system need uh, and then, and then it's testing it. It's sending information in there frequency wise, the system's giving feedback. In other words, resonant feedback from your body into the Healy and the Healy saying, okay, yep, that's the one. And it fine tunes until it finds exactly the series that you need for the modality of the program, right? Then it implements for a period of time and then starts to see how resonant you're coming with each frequency. Uh, and then does a little cleanup afterwards, a little cleanup, which is the higher level, more, um, more spiritual or, or emotional level of, of alignment at the very end of the program. But it's, it's, it's brilliant technology. Um, like I said, it took several different technologies to come to fruition for it to be able to be launched, including, by the way, these smart devices. They had to have the smart devices with app-driven um, capability so that we could be able to do this. And folks, don't be afraid of it. And some of the AI technology. Right. That feedback loop is definitely um, it's constantly evolving as it's reading and writing to you. But for your benefit, here's the thing about technology. When it is limited by your body's permission sequence, now it's for us. Right. It's for us because it, our body has to give permission. So as it does that. Our bodies has its own intelligence, people. And I think you know this because um, how many times has something happened that's sent you bedridden or dis disabled you um, and it made you heal, right? It made you heal. That's right. the body's intelligence. So um, listen to our bodies. So can I, we're, we're in, um, it's 8.53. I know you, you had okay. about an hour so, yeah, and I know we didn't get to. Uh, I'm gonna have you back because these are these are these are just our chats are getting better and better. Um, grounding is important. I know you wanted to touch on even if you get a, a mat or something, if you can't leave yep. the house, you, right? Because grounding is grounding is so important. Um, and I want I wanted to leave with um, uh, depending on how much time you have, I want you to I want you to touch on the pets because and, and because there's an amazing. I didn't even believe it. I didn't see it at the beginning of the month. It, the deal that they have going on with the, with the Healy Gold Edition, with the free coil, and the pet module and everything like that. They're like focusing on pets for August. I didn't know that, and that yep. deal is still going on to the end of the month. And I think people should know about it because people care about pets more than themselves. Oh, I agree. People pay pay more money uh, for the care of their pets these days than they do on themselves. And no, that's, I know. And and so great for the pets, but you, folks, we have to. There's a there has to be a self care protocol, folks. No, and, and, and great part, great part, and, and I'm I'm just put the chat on. Hello to all of our amazing, divine feminine women. I even see Sophie in there. I would have brought her in, but I we're we're limited for time right now. Maybe next show. Um, hello everybody. Hello ladies. Love you all. Uh, share this video. We had a great show tonight. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it up with the pet thing and. Uh, I have to, you know, can I, in my videos, just because I'm coming up with a great thing. We were talking about community, no matter what it is. So I'm coming up with something. Um, I'm coming up with something called Patriot Finder, um, dot us, And uh, it's just, 
you know, because there's, there's a lot of craziness going on in the world. And I think people find themselves still isolated on an island. They can't speak about their truth, whether it's healing, whether it's of who they voted for, you know, wh whether they think something's wrong or not. You know, the cancel culture, all the craziness and people are, are alone, I found on my journey. So I this Patriot Finder. Dot us um, is so important to me. I'm getting ready to launch it and we'll never ask anyone's address. It's just to find people. It'll work by zip code. So then you can DM people and you can meet in public. Be safe. But we want to get we want to get people together. And it's called Patriot Finder, but it, you know, it's for anyone that is on the same page and wants to go through this this fight together because we got a little bit of craziness coming up still, I think. And we, we got to keep ourselves together. We got to learn how to heal. We got to learn how to take our power back and we have to share very important information. So that site is, uh, is very, very important to me. I'll share really quick if I can um, my screen. Can you see the logo there, Ken? I, I'm, yep, I'm, I see it. There's the patriotfinder.us. So there's that. See it. So um, just want people to know about that. And I would love for you to. Um, I would love for you to. What do you. What do you want to yeah. close with? The time is yours. Um, and then we'll give the. Um, I had the website up there. I put a quick website together. With usually try to keep up with with the monthly deals uh, for Healy information, yeah. testimonials from some of our our tribe on there, from uh, our beautiful women that changed their lives and. Um, information there's there's the website right there and you can email questions and such like that but um yeah what, what do you want to close with ken you have you, you were going to tell me that beautiful story about your dog charlie and and how the healy saved your dog there is there is so many um great testimonies out there i know around pets i have uh, you know a personal experience uh, with my 14 year old border collie um two years ago she was uh, just out of the blue. Uh, she just decided to stop eating and drinking. And I thought, okay, you know, she was 12, almost 13 then. And I thought, well, you know, gosh, that's been a pretty good run for a border collar, but she just didn't seem, it didn't seem right that she went from being uh, vital and, and festive and, and spunky. And then all of a sudden just gave up on life and I didn't understand it. Well, we had gotten a new puppy. And, um, and so there was a lot of time put into this new puppy a bit. And, um, and then all of a sudden my, my old girl, Charlie, she just started to uh, lose faith in life. Maybe, I don't know what was going on. So I did a scan on her. I did a resonant scan. This is what Healy can do for us is it can give us some information about what's going on based on the quantum field signature of whatever they're scanning, whether it's a, a person, a pet. This is for humans also, everyone. We're just talking about the pets. This is what the Healy does. <laughs> the, Healy, the Healy can scan our pets. It can scan our plants. It can scan a building. It can, it can scan any energy field. We just put it in as a, as a client and we can give a readings for alignment. Everything has energy and everything can get misaligned, right? They're just like, some some residents, some dwellings have had some catastrophic events in it that just have bad energy in them, right? So that can be aligned and cleared. So I did a scan on Healy and from on with Healy on my on my Charlie, and it found it said the first thing it read was lack of love from the father. Whoa, like, whoa! Because you're paying, you're 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 with the puppy. Exactly. And so I was like dagger to the heart, you know, this is my girl. And I was like, what? And, and I, I thought about it for a minute. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have been spending more time on this new puppy than, than her. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I, I, I want to find out what frequencies, um, uh, and this is a resonance scan, by the way, folks. Um, I did a resonance scan and sorry. And then I also did an aura scan because the aura scan gives a lot of information about this background, right? right. It's some of the baggage that's going on. So the, the aura scan gave me this amazing information. And, um, and then I started running the frequencies for alignment. Now this, this, my poor girl had gotten to the point where she couldn't even get up. I had to carry her outside. Um, when I thought maybe she had to go potty or whatever, um, she wouldn't even lift her, her head. I ran the frequencies. I started that night and I turned it on to where it would run 24 hours. Um, and you can, you can program this to run. Yeah, in the manual, yeah. In the manual systems. And so I ran it all night. The next day when I went up there, she had lifted her head up and was looking at me, right? And I put the pan of water under and she started drinking. So I ran it all that day. 
by the end of that day, she was standing up, right? Amazing. That's amazing. Amazing. So, uh, so we went from not moving, lethargic, really, I thought, at the end of her life. And she thought so, too, because she's like, nobody loves me anymore. Uh, and it went from there back to being vitality, strength, um, her charisma. Now, <clears throat> she, um, she passed away uh, just this past January. But uh, we got another two years, right? And she was amazing. So um, there is there is a life expectancy, right? And we can we can we can make the quality of life as good as we can for as long as we can. Eventually, um, life does leave us. But I am so grateful for the healing, the tool, and the ability to be able to see. Wow. I couldn't understand her language, right? I, I I could feel her, but I couldn't quite tell what was going on. But this is how we can actually dive deep into that. So I just wanted to share that story about my my Charlie, and I and I also want to um, I want to go ahead. Close, I want to close with a gift for you guys. Because wow, you didn't tell me about this. And what well, <laughs> because there is there is these minds that we are constantly um, in partnership with. Oftentimes we think that it's against us, but we really do need to accept the fact that life is for us. And if we can if we can get that one understanding under our belt and allow that everything that's coming into you is for you because you have drawn it in. You're not a victim to it. You are um, a participant within it. So I want you to look at things as being a participant within life. Uh, and the gift I want to give you is a gift of getting beyond the mind for a moment. And our, our, our number one, number one tool that we can get beyond the mind is our awareness going uh, above and outside the thought process that you're going through, hey, just knowing. Hey, Ken, are you, um, I, I named this show. I'm, I'm my hair standing up. Okay. <laughs> I named this show frequency Friday. You know, I've been, those that follow me, I've been talking about doing frequency Fridays. They were going to be like on telegram or I, I, you know, I just wanted to build it up and I wanted to just, wanted it to just be a nice quiet place everything opposite of the angry man in traffic i maybe wanted a it was developed in my head and we never got to it so i named just because today's friday i named this frequency friday and about 20 minutes ago i was thinking if we could somehow like close today in that in a very special you know, like close it in that very special and leave people with a few minutes of to get a taste of what the future looks like of getting rid of the angry person and getting into that space. And here you are. <laughs> and here you are. I mean, do you understand what's going on? Yeah, of course you do. Yeah, because I'm kind of I kind of manifested this. This is your world. These are things that I wanted because they're good things for people other than me. They're for others. Yep. That's why I wanted Frequency Friday. I don't need Frequency Friday. You know, when I, I had the angry old man today, but I'm back set and I'm never going backwards again. I'm going to keep the magic carpet out at all times. And if the angry man comes out, I'm going to I'm going to smack his ass right out the door and say, get the hell out of here. These yep. 800,000, you know, cells are working. You can't be near them, you know. So here you are talking mm -hmm. about with this gift. And I like I couldn't have written this this um, this script any better. So I wanted to because I want to close yeah. out quietly. I want to get the junk out of the way here. I want to thank you. Mm. You're the man. You, you're definitely coming back. We're attached it to hip forever. Soul brother. And um, thank you so much for what you do. Um, I love you very much. And um, mm. I want people, I just checked the website. It's healingtheworld.love. I did update the, the pet program is on there with that amazing, amazing deal. I mean, the Healy Gold Model, uh, I, there's nothing to hide. The, the gold model is around 500 bucks. And they're giving you a free 220, I think the coil is 200 the Tesla coil, right? This thing, it costs you $224, I believe, through Healy. They're giving this to you for free. Six months of the, the pet module, right? 
and and the gold edition for for like 500 bucks it's insane that they love your they love your pets more than you they haven't done anything like that for humans right so but i, but I mean while you have it you can treat yourself to running some of the programs on the gold like relax and release and energy and you can start to take care of your your depression and, and anxiety if you decide to care about yourself but it's for it's for your pets it's on the website you can go check it out and um absolutely we're gonna yeah. share this everywhere and um so make sure you go to healing the world check it out testimonials and um the monthly deals till the end of the month get involved if you can for your pets if not for you for your pets and um you're gonna close this out ken yeah. and when you say goodbye and goodbye to everyone i'm clicking the end button but i would love for that I, i'm my hair standing up like i want to i want people to learn we must no matter how busy we are now no matter how angry you are and we think we have to be worried about all of this junk and this shit we cannot even this thing can only do so much mm -hmm. if you're going to be the person laying in bed like me this morning like i could have been running this and i think this would have went on fire <laughs> the, the, the mood i was in this morning i don't i don't know but you have to participate in this yes. you have to want it right we have to people that this thing changes their lives overnight and they're the people that want it and get it. And then there's the people that it takes longer. And they're like, I'm noticing things, Tenor, but I don't, and I know them. And I don't want to say, you don't have any faith. You're angry all the time. You want to be, you want, you want everyone to just like save you. You want the answers. You don't want to do any work. That's why you're not getting great results. Like in a split second. Why, why is it not working for me? Because you're the angry old person. Yes, That's we why. have. We have rules. We have we have rules. We have laws, universal laws, and that that law of allowance, that law of acceptance, that those universal laws of attraction, all those are part of it. And this is what you know in 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 working with this mind. Um, and I and I do want to offer this for you guys because um, this works when there is a moment in which one finds themselves in a stress response and understand that that stress response, you know, you're, you're in that stress response and there are vital systems inside of you shutting down so that you can survive that angry temperament on the road or, or whatever that small little input has been that, that sets you off that trigger, whatever it was, vital systems are shutting down within you. Your digestive system is down regulating. So all that energy can go over to fighting your, uh, reproductive system is down regulating, shutting down so that it can fight. The body needs to fight, not reproduce, right? Your immune system gets suppressed. So all that immune suppression energy, that, that immune um, response, all that energy is used so that you can have some fist doubled up, right, to fight with. Those are essential systems that are shutting down within you that are healing um, when you're in that rest response. So Here's how you get yourself out of it. I want you guys to take a moment. Do this with me. Because if you are triggered by something, and believe me, a trigger outside there, folks, is for us. Because if you noticed, you're probably getting triggered in the same way, day after day. And this is a clue from the divine to say, you haven't learned yet. The reason you keep getting the same trigger to have the same emotion is because you haven't allowed yourself to heal. And in order for you to heal, you need to recognize it. Number one, you need to recognize it. I'm being triggered right now. Okay. Step one, I want you to do a, a three, two, one thing. I want you to observe three things. So three things you can see right now, just three things you can see. I see a fire hydrant. There's a tree and oh my gosh, there is a sunset. Three things you can see. I don't care if it's a bird, if it's a rock, if it's a bicycle. I want there, I want you to pick up three things you can see. Three things. Two. I want two things you can smell. <clears throat> Use your olfactory nerve. Smell. Maybe you smell nothing, okay? Maybe you smell popcorn. Maybe you smell your air freshener. Maybe you smell pine, whatever it is. Maybe you smell your own deodorant. I don't care. So three things you see two things you can smell, and then one thing you can touch. Three, two, one. Three things you can see, two things you can smell, one thing you can touch. I want you to incorporate that part of your sensory perception. 
that right there is going to start to downregulate your sympathetic. In other words, your fight or flight, right? Okay. That's the first thing I want you to do. That set of three. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to breathe. And I'm going to teach you a very structured breath that will sway your heart rate variability right into the rest and digest within five reps. All right. And it's called, uh, it's called a, uh, a one to two ratio breath. So what you're going to do is you're going to inhale for the count of two. Inhale one, two. Hold for the count of two. Hold one, two. Exhale for the count of four. Exhale, 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 exhale. So in other words, you're inhaling half as long as you're exhaling. Here's why. Because when you do that, it slows down your heart rate. And your heart rate, or HRV, is determining your sympathetic or parasympathetic nervous state. You can move yourself out of fight or flight into rest and digest by that breath. It's, it's half as long of an inhale, twice as long as exhale. So you can do a three to six second or a two to four. Most people, two to four works. Okay, so let's just do it together. Let's just do it together. You ready? So inhale. One, two, hold. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Again, inhale. Hold. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Again, inhale. Hold. One, two. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Now, how do you feel? What's that feel like? <laughs> right? It's like, I can rest. That was only three reps. You do that five times and just, and practice this folks, practice this. I'm not going to say you're great at it. You won't be great at it. Maybe I, right? I incorporate the breathing. Can I do that? When I, you know, when I try to ground and I, I do the yep. breathing, I put some nice little music on soothing music and I, I try to, but again, this is the main thing we have to work on. Cause sometimes it's so hard. Sometimes you're such the angry young man yep. and the mind, I notice I'm noticing a lot lately, the mind won't close the mind won't turn off. Like I'll be thinking about one, and then I'm, oh, I got, I forgot to do that. I've got, you know what I mean? The mind is so busy. Yeah. We got to get out of the mind. Got to get. And the senses, mind. and the, it's the senses that created that in the first place. So use the senses in that three, two, one modality. Three things you can see, two things you yeah. can smell, one thing you can touch. Do that and try that, and then the breath. Do it simultaneously, and I'll tell you what. <laughs> Uh, you're going to go, what was I mad about? I don't even remember what they said, you know, in a very short period of time. So uh, we'll work on that awareness muscle, folks. Uh, I said we were going to end it on that, but no, it, it just didn't work out. But no, that's amazing. We, ha we have to work on this and people really should look for like that 10 or 12 minute video with Greg Braden of connecting the mind and the heart. It's one of the main things that helped me. Like I don't have tens and tens and tens of hundreds of hours in on Braden and, and Lipton and stuff. It's just a couple of key videos that creator and people and angels along this journey sent me to see. And that like mm. 10, 12 minute video with Braden connecting the heart and the mind is one of the things that I incorporated when I do this, this breathing and this manifesting and this calming down. And that video is, has been a big help to me. Yeah, absolutely. To be where I'm sitting, nothing grandiose is going on, but it's not about money and all of these things before, you know, that I was striving for before. Uh, now it's, now it's just about getting everyone on the same page, uh, humanity helping everyone and, and doing these, doing these beautiful things and, and meeting and working with beautiful people like, uh, like Ken Close. So, um, uh, well, doing a great job. Thank you very much because it is community uh, that really helps build the healing modalities within the body. We need a community. We need people that we can we can trust and we can um, have a, a like-minded discussion around. And, uh, and, and that is what really helps us feel connected. So thank uh, you for this. Thank you. And I, I bless you, my friend. Thank you. Well, th thank you so much, Ken. And uh, we'll, we'll, uh, you'll definitely come back. We have to do this again. And I want just people to hang just for a moment. Um, I'll let you go. And uh, so you. much, so much appreciate that you uh, made the time to come here today it was it was a fantastic, fantastic show.
Thank you, brother. Love you. Love you, Dad. See you back there. See you. Yeah, he, uh, he went. He went into back. Just heard him yell. I gotta go in there in a minute. Um, okay. Thank you, thank you so much, Ken. Have yep. an incredible weekend. See you next time. Yes, sir. Bye, everybody. So, everybody, please. Um, healing the world. We got some testimonials on there. Um, the what Healy's doing for August is is on the monthly deals there. Uh, if you have any questions, um, the the email is on, on the website. Whoever invited you to watch this video, if someone invited you to watch this and someone uh, invited you, uh, has been discussing, you know, the Healy with you, make sure you get back with them. Even when you go to when you go to Healing the World and get some information, you could watch some videos. There's two amazing videos right on the homepage. If you scroll down a uh, six minute and like a, a 10 minute or something uh, talking, discussing the Healy, it really, really breaks it down. Amazing. We didn't get into much of it today, but it's on healingtheworld.love and um, that amazing pet deal. And you could benefit. You could treat your pet, and then you could throw a you could throw a, a beautiful uh, program on yourself and, and try it out. Anyway, visit healingtheworld.love. And for those that are looking for patriots, if you're feeling alone, you want to hook up with people in your neighborhood, you'll be able to search by a radius by zip code. We'll never ask for anybody's address, and um, that's Patriot Finder. Dot us that will be launching um, in September. So it was a great show. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Hello to everyone in the chat. I didn't get to uh, uh, speak with you all. I'll catch up with you, uh, Sophia. Sophia today ran away from me. Um, so thanks for tuning into Tenor Talk. You're watching this on Tenor Talk or the Grassroots Warrior Network, where I'm on Monday nights at eight Eastern. So uh, on Rumble, um, check it out. I don't know if I have the link under here. I will edit that and put that under here. Check me out Monday nights, 8 Eastern on the Grassroots Warrior Network. And um, thank you, everyone. Visit healingtheworld.love for more information on the Healy. And um, in the next week or two, I'm going to do a, a really a much bigger show, incorporate my dad more so we could talk more about pops and you can see uh, some of the things and um, see some old pictures and some old videos of where we've come from since February, um, changed his life, the Healy did. And um, thank you, everyone. I love you all. Thanks for tuning in. It's Friday night, August 25th. I'm Tanner from Tenor Talk, where we speak truth and from the heart always. Love you guys, and I will see you next time. Get your butt over to healingtheworld.love and learn a little bit about what's going on. <laughs>